This video will show how a PSG low frequency function generator can control the attenuation on OML's electronic attenuation source module. In this setup, either an OML, TR, or T module can be used along with a Keysight PNAX. The PNAX will provide a visual of both the dynamic range and full band frequency response. This section will show how to set up the PNAX. The OML, TR, or T module will connect to port 1, and the source module will connect to port 2. Ensure that the millimeter wave settings are set on your PNAX. Set up a new trace. Select Trace Channel, Trace, and then New Trace tab. Under the New Trace tab, select Receivers. Activate A1 with port 2. You will then need to rescale the chart. Select Response, then Scale. Under the Scale tab, move the reference position to a higher scale in order to better view the response. We used the eighth division. Once these steps are completed, you will want to select Memory and then Normalize. This allows for a better view of the dynamic range response. The Electronic Source module has a V-Tune connector, which is an addition from the basic source model. The V-Tune cable will connect to LF output. On the PSG, select LF output. Then select LF output source. Make sure Function Generator 1 is selected. Then select LF out waveform. Select More button for additional options. Then select DC. Make sure LF amplitude function is activated to reflect voltage measurement. LF out button should be in the on status. Now the PSG is ready to control the attenuation. The voltage range for this particular PSG is 0 to 3.5 volts. If you select anything higher, it will still only reflect the 3.5 volt range. The next clips will show how to manually adjust the attenuation using the PSG. We will start at 0 volts. Now that all the setup steps are complete, you can utilize the PSG to tune the attenuation of the source module. As you are tuning the attenuation on the PSG, you will notice the sweep across the entire frequency band on the PNAX. 0 to 3.5 volts will control the electronic attenuation. We provide three options for attenuation, 20 dB, 40 dB, and 60 dB. This example shows the attenuation to a typical 40 dB range. This is just one method of showing how to control the electronic attenuation of the source module. In video part 2, we will show you how to also control the electronic attenuation by utilizing a computer software program. For more information on this and other OML products, please feel free to visit OML's webpage at www.omlinc.com.